This, which uh, many of us think it looks like a UFO, okay, this is actually the Varoma tray. So the Varoma tray actually comes in two tiers. So you can actually steam two dishes at the same time. Okay, so it makes, uh, it, it's, um, you can actually steam one whole chicken in here. Okay, so um, very useful. And this is made of um, BPA free material. And in here we have a mixing bowl. So this is a stainless steel mixing bowl with a mixing blade and it is 2.2 meters. So um, you can even, you can even um, cook uh, 400 grams of mihun right inside here and you can cook up to for um, five to six people. Okay, so the portion is actually very large. Okay, and for those of you who have a um, smaller family, you can even cook as little as for one to two person. Okay, so you can actually adjust the portion according to your liking. And this is called the simmering basket. So you can use this to cook rice. And um, the benefit of cooking rice with thermomix is actually it helps you to eliminate the starch. Right, so you can cook um, rice in here for about um, five to six people. And if you want to cook for, lot, um, for more people, you can actually cook directly inside the mixing bowl using the rice cooker mode. Okay, so you can cook about half a kilo, 500 grams of rice directly in here in the mixing bowl. Okay, and the next accessory we have is called a butterfly. So this butterfly is mainly to use for whisking eggs. You want to bake, make your meringue. For those of you who like to eat kaya, okay, any kaya lovers out there, maybe you can type in the chat and say yes. Okay, so if you love to make, um, sorry, if you love to eat kaya, one of the first things you should try when you get your thermomix is the kaya, okay, because it is so, um, so delicious, okay. So um, how to use the butterfly is to place it right on top of the mixing knife, okay. And the next accessory is MC cup. So MC cups mean uh, measuring cup. So this measuring cup actually measures um, 50 ml and uh, 100 ml. So for example, if you're baking, you want to weigh your uh, milk, your liquid, you can actually use the MC cup, all right? And um, we also have a spatula here. So spatula is mainly for mixing and sometimes uh, you want to make ice cream. Did you know that the thermomix can make ice cream? So when you make ice cream, um, the recipe will actually prompt you and you just have to follow the recipe accordingly and you just have to place the spatula in here to do gentle stirring, okay? And you can also, um, sometimes um, when you're cooking halfway, you want to do some gentle stirring, you can also place this right inside here, the spatula, okay? Especially designed to use with the thermomix. And there's a cook here. So after cooking rice, remember we talk about cooking rice, you can actually, because this is hot, so you can actually use the hook here to lift up the, the basket. Okay, so for example, you put rice, you should use this to lift it up, all right? And, uh, last but not least is the splash guard, okay? So what is the purpose of the splash guard? Because the TM6 has high temperature. So when you're cooking at high temperature, you will be required, you're required to put this splash guard to prevent oil scattering. So can you imagine cooking at high temperature, but there's no oil stuttering on the tabletop or your kitchen, okay? And uh, it comes with a large um, touch screen, okay? A colored touch, uh, touch screen is 6.8 inches. And um, very important is the, the um, motor of the machine, the heart of the machine, is, which is the motor. So it includes a German motor, which is frictionless and it doesn't um, heat up, so there's no heat generated. So therefore, you do not need a fan to cool down the motor, okay? So this is very important, right? So German technology, 120 um, German engineers actually designed the Thermomix, okay? And to cook with Thermomix, it is so easy because it is only three circles, right? So the first circle is time, second circle is temperature, and the third circle is the speed, okay? So today, when you see our cooking show, we will always uh, talk about time, temperature, and speed. So it's only three circles, and you can cook a lot of delicious meals, okay? Prepared 
for you every day. Okay, so I use it for my breakfast, for my lunch, tea time, and even dinner. Okay, and if you want to eat more, you can even cook supper with the thermomix, right? And um, the, for the speed control, it is from 40 RPM to 10,700 RPM. Okay, so it's really fast and furious. Okay, so your thermomix is so full, cool, right? So um, next is there are three options to own your Thermomix today. So the first option is the full payment at 6,988, or you can opt for the interest-free installment plan for up to 24 months. Or if you like what I'm doing here today, you can also come and join our Thermomix family so you can let your advisor know as well to earn your Thermomix for free, okay? And one Thermomix does everything here for you. Okay? So there are more than 20 over functions and counting. So what does counting mean? Because this is a smart at heart kitchen and um, with Wi-Fi um, you know, um, enabled, you can actually, um, when, whenever we have new functions, it will be added to your, so there's a software update just like your phone. So when there's a new function, it will be added to your Thermomix. Okay, so how amazing is that, right? So when we first launched, uh, we had actually less than 20 functions and now there'll be more and more added. So the next few months, there'll be more and more um, new functions added to your software. Okay, So you'll never get bored of cooking with Thermomix because there's so much to explore every day. Okay, And um, so as you can see the chart here, right? How many of these appliances do you have at home? Right? So I'm sure um, a lot of you would have blenders, and then, uh, you know, you want to chop certain things, you'll have a chopper, and then you might have a grinder, kettle, I'm sure everyone has a kettle at home, right? And then um, it has sous vide function, okay? So later we'll explain more about what is sous vide, okay? And it's, just, it's also a steamer, so you can steam right here. And then um, it cooks for you, it whips your cream for you, and it mints your meat for you, okay? So for those of you who have been purchasing meats from the butcher, once you get your Thermomix, you don't need to do that anymore because it only takes one second to mince meat, okay? How incredible is that, right? Because, you know, when we purchase from the supermarket or the butcher, we do not know if their food processor has been cleaned thoroughly. And, you know, um, you know, sometimes I question that do they even clean the food processor properly, okay? So with the Thermomix, it's just one second. So when you get your Thermomix, this is what you must do um, with it, okay? And um, it's also a slow cooker, so you can actually cook your meats for up to eight hours, right? Without monitoring, without stirring and all, okay? And emulsify, you can mix with it. It has heat. Heat means it has precise temperature control from 37 degrees till 120 degrees manually. And uh, with our modes, we have until 170 degrees, okay? So there's heating element in here. And fermentation mode, for those of you who like to make your own homemade yogurt, you have a fermentation mode. And pre-clean, yeah? What we dislike most is um, cleaning after cooking, okay? So now we have a pre-clean mode. We have four to five different modes. Okay, so for example, after baking, you can use the dough mode to clean. And then uh, if you have been, if you cook something oily or perhaps curry chicken, okay, all you need to do is place in one liter of water, once one to two squirts of detergent and let the Thermomix do the cleaning for you, okay? And it is very clean, okay? So after cleaning, you can actually do gentle rinsing over the tap and it's done, okay? Because it will also detect how dirty the bowl is and it will heat up water to actually clean the bowl thoroughly. thoroughly. So I really like the pre clean mode, right? And uh, we, it stirs for you. There's a built-in wing scale. Um, there's also kneading function for those of you who love to bake, who like to make your own homemade breads. This is really good. And uh, high temperature up to 170 degrees. And next is sugar stages. Okay, so you can actually do your own caramelized popcorn. So for those of you who have been watching a lot of Netflix at home, you can actually now make your own Garrett popcorns right with your Thermomix. Okay, with your Thermomix. So it's really amazing. Okay, so if today, I were to place all these appliances right on my countertop. Imagine I need 20 over 20 over machines here. Okay? A lot of um, space. Um, you know, I need to actually place the machines. And 
do you actually use each and every of the appliances every day? The answer is no, right? And also you need a lot of storage, right? So for example, if you don't have a lot of storage space and there are so many machines around, actually most of the machines will just be left aside. But with the Thermomix all-in-one super kitchen machine, 20 of the functions all in here, I don't need to actually find a space in my kitchen to place the machine. It's always on my countertop so that I can cook three to four meals a day with it. Okay, so it's versatile and everything is here. I do not need to you know, look for other appliances for each and every of the functions. Okay, so this is what I really like about the Thermomix. Okay, so it's your perfect kitchen, whether you're single, just now I mentioned you can cook as little as for one person. And um, if, you know, those who are newlyweds and just move into a new place, don't bother getting all the appliances, just get your thermomix because you save time, you save money, you, you know, you save space as well, okay? So those who are thinking of uh, moving to a new place and getting married soon, or even if you have family members who are getting married, tell them about the thermomix, all right? Because you, you really help them to, you know, uh, reap, the, reap the benefits, okay? And of course, with children, you know, we want to build the, our kids' health, um, build their strong um, immunity when they're young. So, you know, having the Thermomix, we, we know what we cook for the children, the ingredients we place in it. And also, you can have um, bonding time with the kids, okay, like making your own pizza, muffins. And now, you know, kids are starting school. And, you know, mom, as mothers, we need to prepare lunchbox, snack box, and things like that. So, with the Thermomix, it is so handy. And it really saves a lot of time, especially preparing kids to school. Okay, and of course, elderly when you grow older, um, perhaps uh, there are a lot of diet restrictions. Maybe you're gluten intolerant, lactose intolerant, or maybe you're on certain diets like keto diet and all. On our Cookie Do platform, which I'll explain to you later, we have a lot of recipes specially customized for you. Okay, so um. Do not worry, we have a lot of recipes for specific diets on our cookie dough platform, which I'll explain to you shortly. Okay, so without further ado, today I'd like to um, um, share with you our first presenter, Sunita, who will be sharing with us a lovely, refreshing drink, which is the Caribbean cocktail. Okay, enjoy, I'll be back shortly. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes. I hope so. Okay. All right. Let's get started. So my name is Sunita and I'm going to show you how to do a really quick and easy uh, Caribbean cocktail today. Right. So the recipe is on cookie dough and I have saved it under my week, under my recipes, my week, and I can just pull the recipe up. So I'm going to just say start cooking. And I've got two mangoes. So this recipe is originally, I think, in German. So if you want, you can actually open Cookie Do on your Google Chrome browser. And there is an auto translate function. And you can actually pull up the recipe and see it in English, which is obvious because I don't read German. Okay, so two mangoes, cubed. All right, so we're gonna put that in. And then we're going to go next. Um, two mangoes next. Two bananas. Just slice. Next. So juice from two to three oranges. So this is from three oranges. Next. Okay. And a little bit of lime juice. Next. Sorry, I sprained my ankle, so I'm a little unstable. Okay, 100 grams. 
So put the mixing bowl lid on. Next, one minute, speed 10. And then next, 300 grams of ice. Put the lid back on. Next, 20 seconds, speed two. Next, your beautiful Caribbean cocktail is done. Get all that goodness off. So what else can you do with the blend function or with the turbo function in the Thermomix? You can actually make your own fast and fresh juices every day. You can even grind your coffee beans or your almonds to make almond meal. Or if you just needed a little bit of um, rice flour, you can actually use the turbo function, which is in the Thermomix, to just blend your rice to make into ice, um, rice flour. And you can also make your own icing sugar. So some recipes just ask for a small sprinkle of icing sugar to uh, dust on your cake or your donuts. Just make your own. You don't have to go out and buy a whole 500 gram packet of icing sugar. So this is the beautiful Caribbean cocktail that we've made. So I'm just going to pour one glass out. See how rich and thick it is. And it's got all the goodness of your orange juice, mango, and banana in it. So I'm going to take a sip and let you know how it tastes. Oh, wow. It's super, super delicious and yummy. So cheers, everyone. And Please do go out and get your Thermomix now because making stuff like this on your own at home is the healthiest and the precious. All right. So I'm going to hand it over to the next presenter. Cheers. Hey, cheers, everyone. Thank you so much, Sunita, for sharing with us. Okay. So next, um, I'd like to share with you what is Cookie Do. So Cookie Do is our recipe platform, award-winning recipe platform, which we have currently 67,000 recipes and more, okay? And our recipe development um, department, whenever there are new recipes being developed, 
it will be added to our cookie do library okay? and all the recipes are fail proof tried and tested recipes so for those of you who are great cooks you can also explore um, cookie do for more inspiration and ideas on what to cook and for those of you who do not need to who do not know how to cook cookie do is really a lifesaver okay because all the recipes are step by step and it's guided cooking okay you just need to get your ingredients and follow the steps closely and you will be um, able to achieve amazing results okay so without further ado today i'm going to share a recipe from cookie do on how to bake banana cake okay so this banana cake is really delicious and very simple ingredients which you will already have at home okay so just to go through the ingredients with you we have plain flour here and uh, baking uh, powder and baking soda okay i have four eggs i've added in some walnuts which is not in the recipe because i personally i like to add nuts to my banana cake so you can actually improvise so you can add some walnuts chopped walnuts and here i have raw cane sugar because i prefer a healthy option so um, instead of the caster sugar i'm using raw cane sugar okay and then i have um, um, vegetable oil here and uh, the baking soda and the baking powder i'm using is organic so you see if you're baking at home you can use the freshest ingredients you can even use organic flour you can use organic ingredients if you prefer okay and even um, you can also use healthier um, sugar at home yeah because when you purchase from the bakery you can't request for you know better quality ingredients because they want to cut costs on ingredients so therefore you should get your thermomix and start baking your own breads and uh, making your own uh, cakes all right and you also need um, bananas so i have bananas here okay and here i have lined a baking tin all right with the baking paper all right okay so i'm going to start now so you actually search for the recipe on the screen you can also um, search for the recipe and uh, uh, view it via your notebook or your device any device your ipad your handphone your mobile phone you can actually view it okay and once you have um, search for the recipe you just have to scroll down and you can actually um, uh, shop for the ingredients we also have shopping lists as well and we also have um, you can also create your own collections as well using cookie do so you actually um, add the recipe to the shopping list and when you go to the supermarket click on the shopping list okay and then you can actually view what are the ingredients which you need to shop for all right so for example if tonight i'm cooking a chicken dish a banana cake and another another dish so you just add all these um, recipes into the shopping list and it will actually consolidate for you how many eggs you need how much sugar you need um, uh, how much butter you need so if you have or if you already have the ingredients at home you can actually uncheck and then after that you can just shop for the ingredients so it's very convenient okay using cookie do right so here on the on the right it, it shows you what are the ingredients to prepare and on the left here is the method okay so you can actually view that beforehand using your ipad on your phone okay and you can it also shows you um you know um, is it easy most of the recipes are easy here okay and uh, for how many people so for how um, is this is a 12 so you can actually make 12 pieces from this recipe and then um, the total time and the prep time as well and even nutritional benefits you know the energy the amount of calories we all have it in okay and then next what you do is tap on start cooking and then it shows here preheat oven at 150 degrees and then you tap on next it says grease a loaf tin and it also tells you specifically the size of the tin you need okay next insert butterfly whisk so this is the butterfly whisk okay so because it's going to mix the batter for me so i need to place this right on top of the mixing knife okay just let me show you how it's done okay just like that right and when using the mixing um uh, when using the butterfly the maximum speed is at speed four okay do not go above that okay so you can actually use the butterfly to even uh whisk egg whites you can do your meringue and things like that okay and next is add eggs so i'm going to place in the eggs all right so i'm actually four eggs in here and next 150 grams of sugar 
Okay, so I'm going to show you how to weigh the sugar. You can actually pour the sugar in directly inside. Or another way of weighing is placing a, empty, an empty bowl right on top of the mixing bowl lid. And then you tear. So as you can see here, there's a built-in weighing scale, okay? So the weighing scale, the thermomix weighing scale weighs in one gram increment. So it's very precise. Okay, and I really love the built-in weighing scale. So if, example for me, I love to bake. I don't need to actually go and grab uh, another separate weighing scale. So everything is in here, okay? So I'm going to tear. Once you tear, it zero rises, okay? And it says here 150 grams of sugar, but I want to reduce the amount of sugar, so I actually reduced it. So you can actually improvise on your own, okay? So I tear sugar. So as you can see, I weight the sugar here. Okay, there's about 100 grams of sugar in here. So I'm going to pour the sugar inside. This is how you weigh, very easy. And tap next, 180 grams of oil. So I'm going to pour in the oil. Okay, right. Next, it says insert the lid and the measuring cup. Okay, right. Next. And it says turn speed selector. So this is the speed selector. All right, turn to speed 3.5. So I'm just going to turn it to 3.5. Okay, so it's at 
Okay, let's um, chat. Let's have a chat, okay? So can you type in the chat um, what kind of uh, cakes or breads do you like? And when you get a thermomix, what are you going to bake first, okay? Maybe you type in the chat and let us know what we have in mind that you really want to bake or you want to eat, okay? So um, when I got my thermomix, I made a lot of things, okay? Chiffon cake, one of my favorites. I made Japanese cake. I made um, muffins. Cupcakes, I make kueh, uncle kueh and all is possible with the dough mix. And uh, you can even make things like uh, tapioca, kueh, and you can also steam. Okay? If for those of you who do not have an oven, you can actually steam a cake using the barama. We actually have uh, steam more chocolate cake, steam pandan cake, which is really delicious. You can also do um, the Chinese uh, Asian cupcakes as well, the kapko, the kapkwe. We will also have recipes for that if you do. So if you actually place the boroma, which is this. So you can actually place the boroma in here with a nine inch uh, round tin. You can place it up on top. You can actually bake a cake even without an oven, okay? So when you get a thermal mix, ask your advisor and she will share the recipe with you on how you can bake a cake even without an oven. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, so after it's done, you will hear this beautiful music, okay? And then you come and attend to your thermomix, all right? So tap on next. It says remove the butterfly list, right? So basically what it did was it actually helped me to whisk the egg and the sugar, right? Next is place in the banana. So sometimes, uh, you know, when you have leftover bananas. So what I like to do is I actually freeze it. I can make a cake, I can make a bread, okay? And, um, I make um, ice cream with it, I make um, sorbets. So bananas, you have leftovers, just freeze it, place it in the freezer. And uh, especially when baking um, banana cakes and all, use ripe bananas, okay? Because um, the flavor is better, right? And then insert measuring cup and bowl next. Okay, so now it's going to just help me mix for, part, um, for a few seconds. <laughs> Next, it says place in plain flour and everything. So I only pre weight the plain flour. And then next is uh, add in a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm going to place everything in here. Okay, cover the lid again. All right, and it's going to mix for me. So have you seen a baker without uh, an apron and uh, it does not look messy, okay? So when you get your thermal mix, this is how it's going to be. You're going to cook, you're going to bake, and you're going to still look good. All right, you can have your makeup on, you can uh, dress up, okay, uh, without looking in a mess. So I'm also going to add um, some chopped walnuts. So if you, if you like, you can add um, other nuts as well. Okay. So the batter is done. Okay, very smooth. I'm gonna just pour it.
if you'd like, you can also add uh, one teaspoon of vanilla essence if you want. And I'm also, I'm also going to add some extra walnuts right on top because I love um, walnuts. So you can, add, you can add other things you want. You can add some uh, chocolate chip if you like chocolate banana walnut cake. Uh, I mean chocolate chip banana cake. You can also add some. All right. So I'm going to place this to bake for about 45 to an hour. And um, when the skewer comes up clean, so up when it's done, I'm going to place in the skewer right in the middle. And if the skewer comes up clean, so meaning the, the cake is ready, okay? But if it's still wet, you need to continue baking for a while more because five different um, ovens have uh, di different uh, temperature control. So you need to know your oven well. So that's why using the skewer will help, okay? So now I'm going to pass to Ezrin, who will be sharing with us. Um, the next recipe. Okay, hi everyone. Good morning. My name is Ezrin. Okay, so today I'll be cooking cod with citrus butter. Okay, this recipe is in cookie dough, so it makes your cooking very easy because you just have to follow the steps. Okay, especially for those who just started using their yeah, thermomix, we encourage you to use cookie dough recipes so you get used to the function. Okay, so it's not too stressful for you to figure out what speed, what temperature, and all that. Okay, so this recipe I've already saved into my week, uh, my week, uh, weekly calendar. Okay, so when you go to the menu, you go to my week, then you can find the recipe there. So what you can do is you can use your phone or your iPad. And then you can browse through all the recipes, 67,000 recipes if you have time. And then you can choose uh, which recipe you want to cook for the whole week or for the whole month. Okay, you can do your meal planning. And then on that day, you can just press on my week and you can just start cooking. Okay, so from here, you can also get your shopping list. All right, so just press, okay, cod with citrus butter. So with every recipe, what you see on the screen here, you also get it on your phone or your iPad or desktop. Okay, so when you scroll down, you can see all the ingredients, the preparation, and don't forget to also read the tips, okay? Sometimes it's very useful. So for this one, it says here, you can replace the potatoes with rice. Okay, so if you like to eat rice and you don't want to steam the potatoes, you can just switch to rice. Okay, I like to eat rice, but today I'm, I'm cooking potatoes. Again, my husband, my husband loves potatoes. Okay? He doesn't like to eat rice. All right, and if you care about calories, okay, all our cookie dough recipes have all the uh, nutrition numbers, okay, like your energy, your protein, your carb, okay. So cod, okay, I love cod. Okay, cod is a very flavorful and nutritious fish. Okay, so if you are concerned about fat content for uh, your protein, this is a good uh, alternative. Okay, it's very, uh, it's high in protein but low in fat content. Okay. So just press start cooking, and right away it will tell you to place uh, orange zest and also lemon zest. Okay, so I have here already. This is for one lemon and one orange. Okay, so just put everything in. Then it says insert measuring cup. So make sure your measuring cup is closed. And then press next. And now, okay, they already set the time to three seconds. There's no temperature because it's just going to blend. And it says here, turn speed selector to speed seven. Okay, so quickly just turn until number seven. So when you hear the sound means it's ready, either you can tap on the screen or press next. Okay, transfer to a small bowl and set aside. You can just transfer to the table, okay. So just transfer back to that same bowl. So I've tried this recipe a few times. I like cod fish. We have a lot of options for cod fish. So if you like cod fish as well, you can try this recipe, okay. The other way I would do this is just 
to cook my rice at the bottom and then I steam my codfish without any salt or pepper. And then once the steaming is done, I just squeeze a bit of lemon, put salt and pepper and olive oil. It's really good. You can also try that. Okay, so that's done. And then next, place 700 grams of water. So just like Olivia said, you know, just now we have the measuring scale that comes on automatically. So you don't need to weigh this on the side. Okay, so just pour everything in, 700 grams. Press next. So it says here, insert simmering basket. Okay. So this is our simmering basket. So just um, add inside here. Just put it in. Okay. And then it says, weigh 400 grams of potatoes, which I've already done. Okay. So it's inside here, my potatoes. Okay. Next, place Varoma dish into position. So to put the Varoma dish, you must make sure you cover the lid first without the measuring cup. Okay. So like this, okay? So put the Varoma dish on top. Okay. So this is called the Varoma dish. This one is the dish and this is the tray, okay? So same, put the dish and then weigh 400 grams of forget in uh, cut in slices, okay? So I've already done this, it's all in here. And then next, uh, lightly grease Varoma tray, I've done that. And season both sides of the four cod fillet with half teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of ground black pepper. Okay, so I've already done that as well. So I have three fillets here, okay, because my family is quite small. So you can adjust actually, if you don't need four, you can just do two or one up to you. Okay, and then it says here, place on baro, place on baroma tray and sprinkle with, okay, so I've already done. Okay, and then insert baroma tray onto baroma dish, okay. So just follow the instructions. We'll tell you step by step, okay? And then next, cover Varoma with lid. Okay, so this is the lid. Okay, next, straight away they tell you, uh, they already set for you 25 minutes. The temperature is Varoma, okay? It will tell you to turn the speed selector to speed one. Okay. So now what it's doing is steaming, okay? So I have water down here, right? So it's steaming the potatoes at the same time the forget and also steaming my hot fish. Okay, and Varoma temperature means it's 120 degrees but it's releasing steam. So if you cook manually, just for your info, Varoma, you need to put on Varoma temperature in order for it to release steam so that it can steam the food on top. Okay, so the other function for Varoma is also to, um, to thicken sauces. Okay, so let's say you cook something and then when you finish cooking, you realize that the kuah is a bit too runny. You can take out the meat and then put, uh, leave the kuah inside for uh, three to five minutes on Varoma, it will thicken the sauce, the sauce okay? So now just uh, let it steam. Okay, so here, this is called three-in-one cooking or multi-layer cooking. Okay, so we have up to four-in-one uh, cooking. Okay, so I love to do this. My favorite is usually rice, veggie, and fish on top. Okay, my son loves salmon, so we steam salmon almost on a daily basis. So just in 18 minutes, my rice is ready, my veggie is steamed, and my fish is also ready. So it's really easy, right? You just put everything in, and then you can just leave it. It's very safe. Okay, you can go in Monday, you can go attend to your kids. You don't have to worry about anything. Okay, so if you, like today, it's around half an hour. Okay, we, because now we're going to steam for 25 minutes and then later we're going to do the, the sauce for it. Okay, so which is about four minutes. Okay, so if you do this manually, okay, you might be using a lot of pots and pans or you might be taking about an hour or more. But with thermomix, it usually takes about 18 minutes to 30 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes depending on what you're cooking. Okay, so you, if you want to do four in one, you can have soup at the bottom or dessert. Okay, and you can have your potatoes or rice in the basket, and then you can have your veggie like this and your meat on top. Okay, so we have a lot of recipes in Cookie Do for you to try for three or four in one cooking. Okay, so make sure you try when you get your thermomix. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, go through a few uh, of our modes. Okay, so if you go to home and then you scroll to the side, you can see a few, like I call it like quick buttons. Okay, so a few modes here. 
And if you scroll to the side, we have just three because this uh, machine is smart at heart and it's Wi-Fi connected. So as and when there's new updates or new functions, we just have to update your software and you will get new function. Okay, you pay one price today, but your function will keep on adding. So your value will keep on adding. Okay, so one of the uh, modes that I'm going to talk about is called the kettle mode. Okay, so kettle mode, if you compare your kettle, your traditional kettle, when you turn it on, it goes right to 100 degrees, right? So this, um, for Thermomix kettle, you can actually set the temperature that you want. Okay, so if you want to uh, heat up your baby formula milk, that's it. You can, uh, you can use 37 degrees. And if you want to have your green tea, you should have it at 75, okay, not at 100. And your coffee is best at 95. Okay, because when you use 100 degree water, you will burn the flavor of your tea or coffee. So you will not enjoy the best flavor for your tea and coffee. Okay, so make sure you try these different temperatures okay, when you make your drink. Okay, so another one is called the slow cook mode. Good. Okay, it goes up to eight hours on reverse. Okay, so reverse means it doesn't cut up your meat. All right, so we have a lot of recipes to try, like the beef stew. Okay, we have the braised duck. If you want to do your own lamb shank and even your red bean soup. Okay. And we also have fermentation mode. Okay, have you tried making your own yogurt before or your own cheese? If you see our cookie dough, we have a lot of options to make your own um, uh, yogurt and cheese. Okay, it takes 12 hours. So you can start, you can start the night before. You need um, the starter. Okay, the starter is milk and yogurt. And then when you wake up, you get another batch double, okay, batch of that yogurt, okay. okay. This is my favorite mode, okay, it's called sous vide. Okay, so with sous vide, you can get restaurant quality food at home, okay, because when you go to um, high class restaurants, what they usually do, they sous vide a lot of things in their, uh, in their menu, you can see sous vide egg, sous vide steak, okay, so what they do is they actually have a sous vide machine at the back, and then they have all the meat in the plastic bag, DPA plastic bag. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, and then when you order your steak, they will ask what kind of darkness you want. So if you say medium, they will take out from the bag and then they will sear it according to the darkness that you request. So maybe sear like 30 seconds on one side. Okay, so when you do sous vide uh, method of cooking, your meat is very tender, very flavorful because everything is contained in the plastic bag. Okay, so it was one of the first few recipes that I tried the sous vide steak when I first got my Thermomix. It's really, really good. Okay, it's really comparable to the high class restaurants. So once you try this, you know that you don't really need to go out and eat anymore. Okay, you can just do it at home, but you need to make sure you start early. Because sous vide cooking is low temperature and it takes quite a long time, about one hour to one and a half, depending on the meat. Okay, so make sure you try sous vide when you get your machine. Okay, okay so now I will pass back to Olivia, and uh, later I'll show you the results of the uh, dish. Okay, see you. Okay, thank you, Ashwin, for sharing. Okay, so now I'd like to share with you about cooking with thermomix using low temperature. So the benefits of cooking with low temperature is that it actually um, preserves the nutrients and um, the vitamins and minerals are preserved, especially when you cook things like vegetables and meat. Of course, when you shop for ingredients, you will get the freshest ingredients possible. But did you know that the process of cooking actually will destroy the nutrients, especially when you use high heat? So traditional way of cooking when you use the wok, it's actually at very high temperature and therefore your vegetables, your meat and the uh, ingredients which you use and you've paid so much for the ingredients, um, most of the vitamins and minerals are actually destroyed during the process of cooking. Okay? So with Thermomix, we strongly encourage our customers to cook healthily and uh, using the low temperature cooking. All right? So today I'm going to share with you this recipe which is a um, uh, personal favorite. Okay? And Kids love the recipe and uh, love this dish as well. So I'm going to be cooking teriyaki chicken. So I've already pre-marinated the chicken ahead of time. So this is a very good recipe to do if um, you know, you're rushing off to work 
or you know, even you know, when in the morning you send the kids and then you don't have time and going off to work. So you can actually do this ahead of time. You can actually pre-marinate the chicken. And then um, I, I like to use a Ziploc bag, a PPA free Ziploc bag. Why? Because um, we can marinate evenly, okay? And also, um, you know, after that, we can uh, maybe recycle the bag and we don't actually, you know, when you marinate with sauces and all, sometimes it stains the bowl and it's messy. So I like to use a BPA free uh, Ziploc bag. Okay, so in here, I have marinated with soy sauce, uh, brown sugar, honey. I also have... Um, dark soy sauce in here. So very simple ingredients, just this few ingredients, okay? And I have a uh, sesame seed. This is for garnishing later. And I have um, garlic as well. So one of, the, uh, one of the features I like about Thermomix is that it can help me peel and chop garlic in just a few seconds, okay? So when I was watching the demonstration like you, the cooking show like you, many years ago, this is one of the things which attracted me to purchase the thermomix because you know when we chop our garlic um, using our hands it actually smells and then the smell can last even overnight okay so when i saw how we can do this it's like wow okay this is a machine i want to get okay so what you do is place in the garlic cloves together with the skin okay and go to sorry uh, it's just five seconds, all right? And it will do the job for you, all right? So as you can see, I don't even have a chopping board. I don't even have a knife right here, okay? So inside is my chopping board and my knife. Okay, sorry, just a So when you're not using the Thermomix for 15 minutes, you leave it idle, it actually automatically switch off, all right? So five seconds, reverse. And then go to speed five. Okay. So it has already chopped and killed the skin for me. So all I need to do is have a look. Okay. All I need to do is use a pair of chopsticks and remove the skin. Okay. So look how. The whole skin is all here, all right? So I do not need to actually do it manually, all right? And then next, this recipe, you do not even need to use oil. So it's an all free healthy chicken. Because traditional way, you would need to use oil to cook this dish. But with the mix, you do not even need to use oil because Chicken itself, it has it contains oil, it has fats, so it will actually extract uh, from the chicken. Okay, so this is such an easy recipe which you would love to try. I'm going to place with all the marinated ingredients right inside here. We have all the sauces as well. And I'm going to cook this dish for 14 minutes. So general cooking, we use um, 120 degrees. We we'll go to 120 degrees and reverse. And the next is slow stir, which is the spoon icon. So what does reverse mean? One side of the blade is sharp, so it will actually chop the ingredients for me. So when I have enabled um, reverse mode, it's actually using the blunt side of the blade, so it will actually help me stir. So in this 14 minutes, it will actually help me stir and uh, basically stir fry the chicken. So imagine when you cook vegetables, it will also stir fry the vegetables. And remember to enable the reverse, to activate the reverse mode so that it doesn't chop your meat or your vegetables into tiny pieces, okay? So next, um, it's about high temperature mode. So high temperature mode, you can actually use to, um, you can actually um, brown meat. You can even um, brown shallots, vegetables. And also using a high temperature mode, you can also do sugar stages like uh, lollipops. If you have kids at home, you can actually make lollipops together with them. You can also caramelize onions. You can actually make caramel to, um, you know, to glaze your, um, 
your, your meat, or even uh, popcorn. Okay, just now I mentioned about making your own carrot popcorn at home. So you can also use the sugar stages function to actually caramelize um, things and then you can actually make your own popcorn. All right. So thermomix we have a perfect control, temperature control from 37 degrees to 170 degrees. So different temperatures, you can actually do, achieve different results. Okay, So actually the chefs um, around the world, the Michelin star chefs, the hotels, the restaurant chefs, they love using the thermomix because of the precise temperature control. As you can see, if you watch MasterChef program, when you watch your Asian food channel, okay, it's normally very common to see the um, the chef actually uses a thermometer to actually place in the liquid and then they will stir the ingredients over the stove. But with the thermometer, chefs find it so easy. All they need to do is place in the ingredients and go to the temperature control and adjust accordingly. So for example, if they want to melt butter and chocolate, right? They just have to place in a whole block of butter and chocolate, go to 50 degrees and then let it do it and also you don't have to manually be stirring over the stove and sometimes you know chefs are so busy in the kitchen and when you do not monitor what happens it becomes burnt the pot becomes burnt so with thermomix you're not worried about burning the pot right and then you can also use uh, 60 degrees to dissolve gelatin um 70 degrees is for making your perfect sauces without burning Okay, and if you like to brew your coffee and tea, for those of you who love uh, to drink coffee and tea, the perfect temperature is 80 degrees. And kaya lovers, just now I saw some of you, you raise your hand and say you love to eat kaya. So when you get your thermomix, you have to make our homemade kaya. Okay, because it's so delicious, fresh ingredients, just coconut, you can use couple eggs, you can use duck eggs, and um, pandan juice, freshly squeezed pandan juice, because when you purchase from the from the um, commercial, supermarket or even a bakery, you do not know if actually they use vanilla, I mean the pandan essence or actually fresh pandan juice. So you are assured when you make it at home, you can use the freshest ingredients and you use actually 90 degrees to make perfect kaya. And the general cooking is 120 degrees, browning meat is at 160 and for sugar stages caramelizing, we use 170 degrees. Okay. So you can also have perfect texture every time you know, making your soups, perfect soups, creamy soups, you want to achieve it. You also have a blending mode as well for you to achieve very smooth texture. You can have restaurant quality, uh, mushroom soup, pumpkin soup, lobster bis, you name it. You can actually make it all into your thermomix. And uh, fruit jams, you know, like for Chinese New Year, I make a pineapple jam from scratch. Um, we you can make, um, you know, whatever uh, fruits are in season, you know, peach, Figs, uh, apricot, you know, you name it, the passion fruit. You can actually make all those gems right in here okay, without preservatives because commercial gems have a lot of um, sugar content in it, um, a lot of uh, artificial preservatives, flavoring, coloring, and you know, it's not 100% fruits. So even if you go to the supermarket, you read you know, the label and say it's natural, flip the side and have a look at the ingredients. The sugar content is very high and the fruits is probably very, very little. Okay, so they've added a lot of other ingredients in there. So when you make your own, you know it's all 100% natural and fresh. Okay, and you can also make yam paste and make your own homemade yogurt as well. Okay, so now I'd like to share with you the most exciting part of our cooking show today. Okay, so what are the benefits of cooking with Thermomix? It is quick and easy, all right? And everyone can cook. So with the Thermomix, even your um, children can cook together with you. Your mom-in-law can be cooking. Your husband can be cooking. Your grandma can be cooking. And even the, the men at home who have never cooked before can also be cooking, okay? So really, you know, your chuchu, your, your nene, you know, your mom, your makmutua, all can be cooking with Thermomix, all right? So it's so easy. Okay, and uh, it's healthy because we're using low temperature to cook to preserve the nutrients of our food. And of course, it's also healthy when we know what kind of oil we're cooking at, you know, at home. Because if you go to restaurants, you cannot assure that they're using um, healthy cooking oils like olive oil. You know, some of you may, may use a vegetable oil. 
coconut oil, palm oil, we do not know if you're using this type of oil. But when we cook at home, we know that we are using good quality cooking oil. So that's why it is healthy, right? And do you like that the Thermomix cooks for you? Because I love it. I do not have to be stirring while I'm now chit-chatting with you. I do not have to be stirring. And as you can see, I'm not even sweating, okay? The chef is not sweating, okay? And I can be in the air-conditioned room. And I do not even need a kitchen hood while cooking, right? And after cooking, there's no grease on my tabletop, no oil whatsoever. And um, the best part is that it also helps me to solve the washing part, all right? Which I really like using the pre-clean mode. So it actually cooks for you and also cleans for you, all right? And safe space, 20 appliances, all in one compact unit. I save storage space and I save a lot of um, space as well in my, in my house, okay? And say goodbye to cooking fumes, all right? We no longer want to inhale. And inhale fumes which are harmful to our health, our lungs, and uh, especially you know, cooking when you're cooking in the hot kitchen, you need a kitchen food, and after that, wow, you know, after cooking, you have to be cleaning the kitchen food, the walls, and then you'll be mopping the kitchen floor, and then after that, you start mopping the other parts of the house, okay? So, after cooking, there's so much to do, okay? This is what we do like, all right? So, all your thermomics today, all right? Um, our price is 6988 and if you go for our full-time, uh, one-time full payment, we also give you extra gifts as well. We have um, three cookbooks and you can choose one cookbook of your choice. We have Malay Kitchen, Tasty Asian and Easy News Cookbook, which are our best sellers. So for full payment, you get an extra cookbook, all right? And we also have um, financial, op uh, financial options, 0% interest-free for up to 24 months. Every month you're paying about 290 over ringgit. It's about 10 ringgit per day. Imagine 10 ringgit per day, three to four meals a day, and healthy meals cooked with the thermomix and it's for your whole family to enjoy. Right? Sometimes you know we pay 200 over ringgit for a gym membership and we do not even attend to, you know, we don't even go for the for the gym session, right? But now this 200 over ringgit is really healthy meals for your whole family to enjoy. Right, and um, we also have um, a very special gift for you. All right, it's our 2.2 liter thermal server. So, this is a purchase and post promotion. So, once you have purchased, invite your friends for a virtual demonstration three to six friends. Of course, you know, you have bought such an amazing tool, you want to share with your friends. You're so proud of your, your thermal mix, and you want to share with your friends. And, um, you know, you just have to invite them for a virtual session or you can be at the comfort of your home and you can redeem this thermal server for free, okay? So this 2.2 liter thermal server, the mixing bowl is 2.2 liters and the thermal server is also 2.2 liters. So what is the thermal server? The thermal server is, a, is an insulated um, container, all right? As you can see here, very nice, okay? And it's an insulated stainless steel container which you can after cooking, I can actually place my meals in here to keep it warm for a few hours. And for example, if I made ice cream, I can also place it in here to keep it in the freezer. So this is for hot and cold surface, all right? And it comes with a base here, so it's very easy for you to transfer to your dining table after cooking and it has a lid as well. So if your, your family members are not home yet for dinner, you can actually keep warm, place it in here and put it on your dining table, okay? So to um, to redeem this lovely gift, all you need to do is just invite three to six of your friends to our next cooking show, right? I'm sure you will really want this because it's so useful. Okay, so what is in the full complete package? Okay, all the accessories with, uh, which I've mentioned earlier. You will also get a basic cookbook which you can choose in English or Chinese language and it's a very comprehensive cookbook. We have over 100 over recipes in there. And it's also available in a soft copy in the cookie room. So, for example, if you have selected English cookbook, but your family member perhaps have uh, reach Chinese at home, do not worry. We also have a soft copy for you in cookie room. So you can select either English or Chinese as well. All right. And uh, we have VIP cooking classes monthly. Uh, normally, VIP cooking classes are held at the headquarters. But uh, right now, it's still a uh, CMCO. So we will inform you, your advisors will inform you when we have our next cooking class. 
right? And we have free delivery service nationwide. So Thermomix will be delivered to you right at the doorstep. And uh, we also have a recipe community, online recipe community. So for those of you, if you have your own personal recipes, your own traditional recipes, which you want to share with us, you can also upload it on our recipe community, which is shared by users, right? And there's a free unboxing service. So right now we have unboxing video and your advisor can also do a video call with you to go through on the steps on how to use a thermomix or it also can be arranged at your home. Okay, so it can also be a face-to-face -face, uh, unboxing session with your advisor. Okay, so of course, uh, personal advisor support, your advisor who has invited you here for a cooking show today will be servicing you and uh, they will share with you a lot of information on how to fully utilize your thermomix. And for home use, there's a two-year warranty against manufacturing defects. And for commercial use, like for restaurants, cafes, and etc., it is for one-year warranty. Okay. So if you're interested to be a Thermomix advisor like us, okay, you can also join us and start your Thermomix career. So for me, um, I watched a cooking demonstration of you here today, um, eight years ago, and I saw the functions and I really fell in love with the Thermomix. So I decided to also share with my friends. So I've joined um, the Thermomix family and it has been very rewarding. I work flexible hours. I'm able to juggle between motherhood and also have a rewarding career. And of course, I also meet a lot of uh, beautiful um, uh, customers, you know, who have shared so much with me that they really enjoy the Thermomix. And I also have many of you here today in our session. And I know a lot of you have been cooking up a storm during this time and have also shared a lot of photos and wonderful testimonies with me. So thank you so much for sharing. And if you're interested to be um, a thermomix advisor, do let us know and we'll share with you our program and how you can earn a mix for free. And um, I'm sure after using the thermomix, you have a lot of recipes of you know, photos which you have cooked and you will want to share with your friends. And of course, you also want to share this amazing tool with your friends and family members who will really appreciate it, okay? So share with your friends, you know, those who are always busy, you know, they are paying for grab food, they're always uh, working, you know, uh, at wee hours, they don't have time to cook. Share with your friends because it's really a share-worthy product and they can also eat healthy at the same time. Because if for those who are working, they do not have much time. Just 20 minutes, they can do multi-layer cooking. Go take a shower and you have your complete meal right in front of you. Okay? And also, um, friends who do not know how to cook, they might be buying a lot of cooking um, recipe cookbooks. Jamie Oliver, they have probably a whole shelf full of cookbooks, but still they do not know how to cook. Why? Because when you look in the recipe cookbook, it says medium fire, high fire, and you'll be wondering, how do I control that over the stove? But with Thermomix recipes, you do not need to worry about that. So if you have friends who are, you know, struggling cooking a few day, a few times a day and they do not know how to cook, this is really a tool you should share with your friends, okay? And especially families with children, you know, um, you want them to um, have time, more, more time to spend with their kids, share with them about the Thermomix, all right? And also, um, Friends who are health conscious, they do yoga, they go to the gym, you know, they have a special diet, perhaps um, they're gluten intolerant. You can also share and tell them that, you know, Thermomix, there are a lot of recipes which are suitable for you. Okay, so we have a cooking show every week, every Saturday morning for English, and Mandarin is um, at 2 p.m. So let your advisors know and they will send you the Zoom link for you to invite your friends. Okay, so a big thank you today for uh, joining us and I will actually show you my dish now, okay? So while I'm sharing with you, my dish is already done. So it looks really lovely. I'm ready to show it to you.
And then I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seed right on top. Garnishing. So it serves really nice with the bowl of rice. Different steams of tender barley to go with it. Okay. So I hope you try this recipe and happy cooking. So now I'm going to pass to Ezrin to show you her dish. Right. So thank you so much for joining us today. Your advisor will be in touch with you and do let her know if you have any questions and she'll be able to help you. So you have to get your comments today because, you know, we have so many recipes for you to explore. All right. Have a great weekend ahead. So now I'll pass on to Ezrin who will be showing us a dish. everyone okay so just now after everything uh, finished steaming i had to put in the butter uh, fennel seeds and a bit of the zest okay, and then it was heating up the butter for four minutes and then now i added the lemon and olive juice inside and just mixing and then what now we're going to pour it over the fish okay. so it says here place cod cogets and potatoes on a plate so i've done the cogget and the potatoes so I'm just going to put the pot on top. So then it says pour over warm citrus butter, sprinkle with chopped parsley, and then serve immediately. Okay. So it smells really, really nice. This recipe is really good. So if you have caught fish, save this in your calendar and try it. Okay, so just pour over. Okay, I'll save some for the other two fishes. <laughs> and then sprinkle some parsley on top. Okay, so this is a complete meal. Okay, you have your carbs here, your protein and your veg. Okay. So if you don't know what to cook for, uh, for lunch or dinner, you can try this recipe. Okay, let me show you. Okay, thank you everyone. So make sure you get your thermomix today. Okay, our stocks uh, are low. So make sure you call your advisor, talk to your advisor and place your order today. Okay, now I'm gonna pass to Sunita to show you her drink. Hi everyone. So my daughter tried a glass of this just now and she said it's absolutely yummy. So you guys should get your Thermomix too. Cheers. Thank you everyone. Bye. Bye.